That's right, Waddle. It's another day on the build. We got one post set. We're gonna set this dude. And we're gonna come over here and set this dude. And then I'm gonna drill another hole right here and put a post there. And that will give good support on this end of the deck. And then the building that I'm building on this uh, foundation will actually come high enough to help support that deck. You'll see when I get there, you know, I ain't, like I say, I don't have anything planned, <laughs> but I'll see when I get there. And uh, this opening here, which they had a window in, is only 31 inches. These doors are 30, I think 30, I can't remember. They're, they're a lot bigger, so. We're going to have to do some whittling on that. And these are 33 and almost a half. So I'm going to have to reframe some of that to get the door in. That's no problem. Uh, I really didn't want doors that had two holes drilled in them. One for a deadbolt. You know I mean, yeah, then one, one that goes there will need a deadbolt, but I don't need a deadbolt. I mean, I guess it ain't bad. So I'm using this for storage to have one with a deadbolt. But, you know, people want into something, they're going to get in. So we're going to get started here. I'm getting a late start. But, yeah, I don't know. We had thunderstorm warnings all night, but I think they were for up in Fort Smith. We got nothing here. Oh, well, though. Look at them sad puppy dog guys. You ain't sad about nothing. He's, he's my supervisor. All right, I need to get them old satellite dish brackets off there. A lot of this is probably going to be pulled off, painted, whatever. We'll get there. All right, guys, let's get started. Look here, guys. We got a baby. That is a baby. Mexabel. Spicy bell pepper. All right. That one there. <laughs> I just left it in there, it gets watered every night in case one of these dies. Let's see if we got any baby tomatoes. I'm gonna bet we do. That one ain't looking too good. All right, when these get a little taller, I'm gonna trim the bottoms of them. The, we call them the springers. I'm gonna cut them off. Well, look right here. We got a baby tomato. Mm. Going good, guys. Going good. Wow. That stuff's doing good. Look at that thing. Have we got any bell peppers on these? Not yet. Romas are kicking it, man. Look at that. Yep. All right. Let's get the building. All right, I've been hard at it. Got these holes dug out. And you know, ideally I should go down about three feet, but man, this is the toughest clay I have ever dug in. You get to a certain point with the auger, you just gotta quit and hit, get the breaker bar and <laughs> dig it out by hand. Uh, this one here, it's a lot further down than it looks. I widen this out real good around there. If you can't always go deep, then go wide. That way it gives it a good solid uh, concrete base and it, this ain't gonna go anywhere and I'll do the final leveling once I get the concrete in there I just pour the stuff in there add water mix it around it works uh, that's how I've always done it and believe me I've said a lot of posts working at the ranch I built a 50 by 100 chicken pen area where we'd catch all the babies and uh so they will work i set bigger taller poles than that all right i'm gonna get to finish digging that one out and then we're gonna set these other two poles and we'll get them lined up perfect then we'll dig out this pole probably gonna go right here close to the concrete i've got to do some thinking and do some math all right we'll be back 
Alright, let's do this. Hole number two. Not my favorite thing to do. Alright, let's see here. In the hole you go, don't slide over. Six inch post, he said. It'll be good. One, two, three. Oh, what I'm done. Before you go, walk it up slow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. One, two. Uh, peach cake. Well, I like pie. That'll need to be dug out a little. Isn't this an ugly shirt? I wore it just for you guys. I don't know, it's ugly. It's the worst color I've ever seen. But I like it. Alright. Two on the ground. Oh, they're close too. Yeah. Alright. Two down, two to go. Still ain't dug that hole yet. Let's get that second one in. I'm gonna gotta rest for a while. All right, I got two poles in and pretty much leveled the final level. But look at this right when you get in front of it, close one eye, close the other eye. That's how you can tell if they're really lined up. Close one eye and look at it, then you close the other eye and look at it. And if you can't see that back pole, you go, baby. You go. All right, we got one more to put in. I know it'll line up because it's right up against concrete like this middle one. I always like to do the middle one first and then line up the two end ones uh, or four end ones or ten end ones, however you put in. All right, let's get that last one put in and then get that hole dug for the fourth one. In the hole you go, in the hole you go I'm gonna put you in that hole, in the hole you go Dig out the bottom of her. She will do that. Oh, it's pretty pleasant this morning. I wouldn't say pleasant. It's bearable. Yeah. Get some work done, son. You can go back behind them clouds. Work this dude over. There we go. And we'll get the rest. Oh, we get 
just level up. Three posts down. All right, guys, the pressure is on. We got a thunderstorm supposed to be here by this afternoon. I want to get these things set so I don't have to worry about them. I actually had a dream last night <laughs> that we had a storm, and there were storm warnings on the radio. I kept hearing them, but it was all Fort Smith. And I actually had a dream that this post here, we had a storm and it split like that tree over there. So, if that's the case, and it doesn't rip it out of the ground, then I guess I did a good job with the concrete. So, I've got these holes all dug out nice and wide around the post. Give it a big mushroom effect. And uh, we'll get the concrete in. And do the final leveling on them. And here we go. Alright, let's set some creep. Ah, I hate kinky hoses. And I got a kinky hose. There it is. Some tough clay, man. There's a lot of clay. Uh, Mr. Concrete Mix. I don't like concrete bags. That's harder than hitting the post.
Yep. It was convenient having the hose right here. See, these dudes ain't never coming out. But I don't want them. They're my chubble. It's only about 75 degrees, but the humidity is at 85%. So, it's not uncomfortable. Now that I'm soaked, I'm pretty cool. I'm just out of shape, man. I'm gonna be dropping some pounds on this project. Good for my figure. But I do get regular checkups. I got a good heart. So. It doesn't hurt to push myself once in a while. I just don't push it too much. I don't want to be going to join Elizabeth. Alright, let's get another bag. Alright, I think y'all get the point. First post is set. Took four bags. That's cool because I got 12. We'll check for level again. Dead on. Dead on. Now I'm going to give you your eyeball. Oh, yeah. Alright, post number one set. Kind of smooth it off a little bit. And there ain't much I can do until he's set up. And here it is guys, all three posts have been set, everything's been leveled. Now I left this out from this concrete uh, a little bit on purpose so I'll be able to get a 2x4 or something in there uh, for this wall here. So we'll make it work, uh, I need to wet that down a little more. Alright, all there is to do now is let these set up. Alright guys, can you see it? Are you starting to see what what's going on here? <laughs> that is probably the most labor intensive part of the build. So the rest of it from here hopefully won't be as bad. Uh, I've got to get them doors under that tarp. And uh, everything's perfectly level. set and you know three was the way to go because this way I can have two four foot windows in between each post and so I have like eight windows here in the front screened in windows and then we'll we'll do something different on the side there but 
yeah this is gonna work and then i've got three good posts to go off of up on top for the deck uh you know this deck up here probably ain't gonna be somewhere you want to be in the summer but i could get a table you know with an umbrella or something on it you know it'd be a great place to come out at night i'm gonna have this place all lit up i'm gonna i've got four by four posts over there i'm gonna fence this area in here and make it kind of like an outdoor i don't know paradise i don't know we'll figure that out when we get to it so everything is set for the day i can't really do anything to these set up so hopefully by tomorrow we can start on the start on the roof for the screen in porch all right guys i'm sure you got better things to do than watch a fat old sweaty man and that would be me i have got concrete dust all over this gopro good thing it's a uh, waterproof thing hope it's concrete proof all right guys thanks for joining me if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe if you like what you see uh give me a like if you don't give me an unlike hey be honest happy trails